Banks alone are projecting revenue losses of 5.9 billion cities and loss before tax of about 14.5 billion cities. Experts also project that individual bondholders and investors in collective instruments will jointly lose 15 billion cities. The National Chamber of Commerce had also projected that there will be a squeeze on credit to the private sector with attendant reduction in business operations and profits. Additionally, there are projections of job losses hitting the banks, insurance, investment banks and other businesses if the domestic debt exchange is implemented in its current form. These have far-reaching consequences on government tax and even non-tax revenue. It will lead to a drop in corporate tax, personal income tax and even consumption tax. The few state enterprises that make some profit and pay dividend may not be able to do this time according to some experts. While the government is determined to implement the debt exchange program, it probably has lost sight of the possible impact on its own revenue mobilization agenda. This is one key reason many think that governments did a poor job with the domestic debt exchange proposal.